night. And I am still confused why and what it means. Um, but like example, the baby Jesus things that I was seeing <laughs> leading up to Christmas last year. Don't get me wrong, I understand it's Christmas, but it was a lot of baby Jesus stuff, including like the baby Jesus ornament being the only one to fall off the tree. And I don't even know where the hanger were, like all the hooks were. I'm like, okay, so that one sat on the um, bookshelf in the living room, the uh, like toy organizer special. Um, finding out that my personal trainer's nickname is Baby Jesus because Baby Jesus stuff kept coming up, and I told him about it, and he goes, "That's actually my nickname." Um, so it was just one thing after another. Well, then realizing that this little one was conceived probably either the evening of December 22nd or morning of December 23rd before Tanner left town to go to New York to visit his family. Um, so I get the whole baby Jesus thing now. So I still don't know what 9-11 is. Um, but I've also begun to start getting signs of, and 9-11 would be a perfect arrival date for this little one because my midwife would be back in town, um, my kiddos would be with me, so then they could be there for the birth.
that is one scary thing. My dad, for being as drunk of an abuser as he usually would be, he was still very coherent where he would um, catch stuff like that, right? Like pre premeditated. Take the phone off the hook so I couldn't nine one call 911 on him. Um, I know another time I tried to record him on what used to be a record player slash cassette tape player um, that was outside of their bedroom in the living room and I tried to record his abuse one time on it on like a cassette tape and he heard it and he stopped it. He, like I said, for being in the outrages like that he would be in, was also very aware. Kind of scary when you think about it. Like, even more so. Because it's like, he he wasn't blacking out then when he was and a woman on a motorcycle is asking. Oh, interesting. Um, as I'm talking about this, um, so that's, that's me processing through some stuff right now because this is the first time I'm really becoming aware of just how aware my dad was during his his rages. It wasn't like a blackout thing. Like he was very cognizant still during these times and like premeditating to taking the phone off the hook to being able to hear the tape, the cassette recording that like slight static, right? Like wasn't so in it. That's, that's actually even more scary now that I'm thinking about it. Um, but anyways, stop the ADD moment there. Um, thinking about that. Uh, yeah, that's a little bit of a rough one there. Um, I do need to talk to my therapist. Um, Carissa helped me realize though that that time that I tried to call 911 on my dad is my first memory that I have. I do not have memories before that, um, which I came to find out a couple years ago after leaving my ex that that is a PTSD thing. I did not know that. Um, I just thought that as you got older, you forgot your childhood. I just thought that was normal not to have memories until um, a psychiatrist uh, had spelled it out for me, which I tried one pill and it was so miserable, the side effects of it. I said, never again. I would rather experience whatever this numb depression is. And there's another policeman now coming towards me. How fascinating. Um, whatever this is, I would rather feel that than all the horrible side effects that I wrote them all down because they were so awful. Um, but she was the first person to say, do you have many memories from childhood? And I said, no. And she was like, well, that's not normal. That is a sign of PTSD that you've had a traumatic childhood, been through trauma. I had absolutely no clue. Um, so anyways, that is my first memory as well. And it's another 9-11 synchronicity, which I feel is very important. Um, I don't know yet how, but just the fact that it's another 9-11 I did say, um, this was back in 2012 though, so I don't see how this would play out now because of my age, um, that I want to be a first responder. Something very arbitrary that I said, um, after I had opened up OS, shortly after I had opened up OS because I was in that first office space, first clinic space, um, 
And then more recently, I've said I work with first responders. I don't know if I work alongside them, if I help them with their own trauma that they've been through and healing from that. I don't really know. Um, but I'm wondering how it's all going to tie in together and play out, kind of like the baby jingle sequence of youth. This will be very interesting to see. And it has been coming up almost every single day now that I've seen it. And then I definitely feel like Krista helping me realize that that was my first memory is going to be very significant as well. So I wanted to share that with y'all and look at that amazing light and that confirmation. <laughs> um, I wanted to share that with y'all and I will keep it posted. And I love you and happy Father's Day.